Hello, fellow Wanderers. I'm Andrew. Thank you for joining me as we go through more of Final Fantasy XV. Last time, we beat up our herd of things. Or was it a couple of herds of things? Huh. I think we killed two different herds of animals that were uh, I mean, way too much fun knocking us, us around. <clears throat> and today, we're going to go find a treasure that's somewhere up here north of us. And uh, once we do that, we're going to warp back and uh, turn in a quest. A couple quests, actually. A hunt and a quest. Imperials above us! Thanks. Ugh. Really? I hate all of you. There we go. And you get to die. Let's be done with this riffraff. And there's the Imperials. Yep. I really don't want to deal with, so let's go this way. Pretty sure we need to head this way. And more like this way. Close enough. Whee! Just want to get that item and leave. Yeah, I could make spells for my allies to wield and all that kind of stuff, but I don't know. Magic's great. It really is. I should use it more, but uh, I don't go to camping spots often enough and draw enough magic out of them. We'll work on that, I swear. All right. Mega Phoenix, was that worth it? Probably not. Uh, return to rest point, please. Yep. Didn't even charge you for this one. Yay! Oh, and time for another loading screen. Because that's what this game is. Half loading screen, half wandering around doing nothing. <laughs> Little bit of fighting. Ah, I kid. I kid. Let's go turn in this hunt. See what his next one is. I think it might still be a little bit high level for us. Welcome. Welcome to yourself. Hunt complete. Hey, you're alive. <laughs> yes, I'm alive. All right. So we're up to hunter rank two. Goody. And a titanium bangle is our prize. What else Can do you I have? Take your order. 14 and 18. Uh, that's a night hunt, isn't it? That's a day hunt. I will pass for the moment. Be careful. We'll head down to the southern town and check that place out to see if it has any hunts. And we have at least one quest that involves a cat down there, as I recall. Found one already, huh? You done good. Just picking up the pieces, I guess. Well, try to keep your spirits up. Even though I ain't one to talk, and I beat myself up over the lives of the hunters I couldn't save. That's what each one of these tags means to me. They hurt. But if I let that grief keep me from looking for them, then their tags and their lives will be forgotten forever. And that'd hurt more than anything. Yeah, guess you're right. Well, that's why I tell all my hunters to collect any tag they see, and I expect you boys to go out and do the same. Cheery fellow, isn't he? Don't worry, we'll be seeing more of him. This is an ongoing side quest. I know that much, at least. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Eh, ten high potions. Can't complain that much. Oh, and the cart does warp back with us. That's so nice. And we're gonna go to... Well, actually, I kind of want to check that part out. So let's go to here and see what's in that treasure chest. I'm kind of hoping eventually we'll find some kind of special weapon in one of these or something beyond what you can just buy from a vendor, but uh, who knows? We'll see. And I'm going to get chauffeured around because I'm the prince and there, there's supposed to be a benefit to being a prince, right? I don't know what the benefit to mining is in this game. If it's just for car decals, I don't really care. If it's for car upgrades, well, then I might, but hmm. I'm not really sure what there is in the way of car upgrades. Is there another guy stranded? Stop. Just stop. Just stop the car because I want to see what's going on over here. Is there another person stranded with a bro- Yep. There is. I can't just leave my car and walk home. 
Uh, do I have two of those now, or did it just replace my old one? Uh, nope, I got two of them now. And the treasure chest is right over here, so I might as well grab that real quick. Let's see what's over here. Jump our way up the mountain. Good one thing, he's got good hops. He's a pretty agile character in general, really. Hi, Alexer. Okay. Not going to complain about that any. All right, Ignis is still hurt. All right, let's continue our road trip. And now we want to go down to here. Yep, right here. Yep. Uh, do we want to listen to more music, people? Maybe. Uh, what do we want to listen to? Let's see here. I don't have Final Fantasy VI, do I? I don't. So... Oh, we're out of the car. We're out of time to dig through music. And... It's just right here. Huh. Well, that's easy. Hey, a Mega Elixir again. Not too shabby. All right. Let's go. Let's go to this camp point and camp here, I think. I don't think I've camped at this spot yet. Oops. Over here. Yep, right there. And it'll give me a chance to draw some magic. And we're definitely going to have to refill gas when we get down to the place down south, uh, Golden Key K. Alright, for all you people who played Final Fantasy VII, uh, just uh, think of the scene, uh, you know the one, in the uh, uh, Seashell Village place, and uh, yeah, just think about that while listening to this. All right, well, you're spared from the feels of remembering when that song played. Yeah, go ahead. I want to draw some magic. There we go. I should probably invest AP in the magic drawing just to make it so I can make spells more often, because magic is useful. Oh, look, more mesmeneers or whatever. I'm going to butcher every monster's name. Oh, I'm full on ice, so I need more fire. There we go. And we'll rest here. Just get the resting done. It's bedtime. Huh. And a free 3 AP. Can't complain about a free 3 AP. Good day. Didn't do bad in battles. Um. So, okay. So we know that whose favorite meal that is. So, good to know. Um. Well, we've got them. Might as well cook it. <laughs> uh, so how's everybody doing today? Uh, I'm, uh. I got a bunch of cinnamon rolls downstairs that I cooked up, and uh, I've got some hot chocolate and uh, something suitable to spike said hot chocolate with. So uh, after I'm done recording this, because uh, no no need to do it before I'm done recording this, uh, probably go sit down and have a cinnamon roll and a nice hot chocolate. Enjoy the rest of my evening, as it were, while everything works on getting uploaded. All right. Ah, extra hit points. Ooh, a lot of extra hit points. 
And the extra damage is going to be nice too. Assuming we even get around to killing anything with this meal. Alright. So. What are these anyway? Agar root. Oh, agar root. I don't think I looted any of that yet. And I think it's actually used for some pretty good recipes. We'll be right back. I'm going to go loot some agar roots. I mean, I suppose if I wanted to save myself the trouble of harvesting these, you can just, you know, buy them with gill. That's it. There it is. Right. I've come up with a new recipe. <laughs> I could taste test for you. So there's the agar root. Let's pick up some of those. I haven't found any dagger quills yet, which is very strange. Ugh. I was really hoping I'd run into them by now. I have a place where they usually ambush me like 20 at a time, but uh, not 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 this time. Really strange. Uh, and I need to get to the car. There's the car. Now, Prompto's got a weird symbol next to his name, and I don't know what it means. That's okay. We're just gonna keep going. Choco Bean. I don't care about the EOS Green Peas, but I am horrendously curious what that is. I mean, it, it sounds delicious, like hot chocolate that I want to have later sounds delicious. <laughs> uh, we're back to Aerith's theme. Or Aerith. Hey, we have an official translation. It's Aerith. So there you go. Anyone who calls her Aerith, I named her Aerith on my playthrough, by the by, all those many, many years ago. Huh. So this is the closest place to get to that. Fair enough. How do we get to that? Do we just turn around and run back? Or is it up on the cliff? Oh, that is so up on the cliff. I don't think I'm going to wall monkey my way up. Which means... Is there a path... Up there. Nearby. Please? Hey, hey you want to watch where you're going. <sighs> you all gripe too much. See, there's a path over over there. But if that's the case, we've driven by a little too far, fellas. A little too far. Yep, we're going to have to go all the way back here, and I am too lazy to get back in the car and drive. You all get to run. You all get to run. I wonder if that little bar is showing how many pictures... Next to Prompto, by the way, with the little up arrow. I wonder if that's showing how many uh, pictures I can take before he uh, is full for his snapshot ability. Uh, we will find out. I wonder if leveling that up determines how much AP it gives as well. Oh, come on, guys. Stamina. Have some, please. Whee! Would have been faster to do this from the campsite. Ah, well. Might be good to explore a little bit. That's below us, so it gets to stay there. This one's right here, and we've run into this one before. Okay. So this is where the giant bird was sleeping. Got all those. What's this way? Monsters? Excitement? I don't know. Got me. Well, no recipe. Let's just explore a little bit, shall we? Is there anything up here? Or is it just kind of a... Why do I feel like if I jump down there, I'll die? <laughs> I just... I get a strange feeling that jumping down there might be death. Temper, temper. 
It won't even let you jump. It's like, nope! Your character finds that to be a suicidal notion, good sir. All right. Uh, I'm a long way from the car, so we're actually are we are going to warp to our car, endure the loading screen of death. I could, by the way, make the stamina bar visible on the screen. I just don't feel it's entirely necessary. So there's that and a funguar. Well, you're next on my list of things to grab, so let's go that way. More of Eris theme. <sighs> All right. Well, you know, this might not be the most riveting gameplay. Uh, just tracking down errant cookied items and doing a little side quest. But, you know, it's part of Final Fantasy. And, you know, if I'd actually played through this before and was not doing this blind, I'd probably have a little more order to my chaotic running. But... That's not how this is uh, playing out. Ooh, any enemies down here? Any anything? Enemy density is a little low. Normally I wouldn't complain about low en- Oh. Ah, an ammonite fossil. Cool. Uh, nothing special. And... Yeah. Go back to the car. I don't want to leave it behind at this point and have it not show up at uh, Golden Key. Oh, the music just kicked up. All right. No. Uh, yeah, fast travel. Yep, there's a car. That wasn't a very long load time. I appreciate that. Mostly because it was probably already mostly loaded in. Now, the first thing we're going to do is jump. No, refuel. Right, because it has to play a scene while refueling the car. It couldn't just fill the gas tank for us, could it? <clears throat> By the way, I think they use leaded gasoline in this setting, so, uh... There you go. They still use leaded gas. Do you have better weapons Take yet? Look at our wares. Nope! Hey, come again. Alright, so we had a quest to, do, to get a cat some fish. So, uh, let's go do that. I haven't shown off the fishing game yet. There's a trailer over there if you want a cheaper resting spot compared to uh, the outrageous price of the local inn. Hello there. Come to fish the deep blue sea? Yep, and he sells See you next lures. And I have no idea how to figure out what fish are where or if there's a fishing guide in the game uh, that keeps track of where you've caught certain fish. But we're going to go fishing. It's showtime. So, what do we have here? Go ahead and cast the line that way. Please cast the line? There you go. Yep. And we're going to try and lure this fish into bite. All right, got him. So tilt L, yeah. So we're gonna tilt the direction that way, tilt it that way. Get some line tension off. Come on. Come on. We don't wanna let the tension build up too high because if it does, the line takes start taking a lot of damage. This one's perfect. And hey, we got an AP. Great job, Noct. And what we catch? A very ugly fish. Okay, and we learned a new recipe from it too. So, uh, are there any other kinds of fish out here? Well, there's that weird glowing spot right there. 
I don't know what that is. So let's take a look. Oh, we've got a fish down there. Oh, okay. Oh. All right, give the line some slack. Here we go. Reel it in. All right, reel her in. Reel her in. And they do try to escape. You get a little quick time event because everyone loves quick time events. Yeah, you're not getting away. And there you go. If you really want to waste a lot of time, you can uh, do this. Oh, that's a giant treble. Yep. Another ugly fish. I still want to know what that one is. This might be the wrong kind of lure for it. More to the point. Let's, let's stop fishing for a second. I am horrendously curious if there are sinking lures as well. So let's take a look. You there, person. Ah, back for more, are we? Okay. Bombers. It dies when reeled in and floats when tension is released. I've got one of those, Good so we're going to equip a bomber and see if that works. Of course, the fish might be gone now since I've exited the fishing spot. Oh, there's one over there. So that's you. So let's go to our tackle box and change our lure out. We're going to try this one. And cast it. Uh, I'm going to have to cast a little further out, I think. Nope. Cast it out. There we go. Nope. Didn't even think about that one. Okay. I'm going to try and catch it. I'm just padding video length here, guys. Let me have a turn once in a while, huh? Yeah, sure. Next time. Huh. I don't know. I might not be able to even catch this one. I'm not sure. Uh, dude, make Oops. it quick. I'm so hungry there's a hole in my tummy. <laughs> talk about backseat fishing. Uh, talk about backseat fishing indeed. Well... Not that lure. Let's try this one. Sure. Cast her out. <gasps> Got a bite. No, you don't. Tension off the line. Nope, you're still mine. Ah, uh, gotta love these. Stop reeling. Yep, come on. Wow, this guy builds tension on the line incredibly fast. Got him, though. And was it worth it? Of course not. It's another one of these guys. Uh, the line's still okay, you think? That wasn't even the right fish. Darn it! Darn you, fish. Let's try this again. I know, I know. Oh boy. Nope. Oh. Come on. I know she sees it. 
Come on. Come on. There you go. What the hell was that? Come on. Nope. I don't know if I've got good enough line, actually. Line's not gonna last. I do not. Oh boy. Hey, All right. Just what do you think you're doing? Woo! About time for a new line, ain't it? Right. So uh, we're gonna need a better line, <laughs> a better reel. But there you go. Uh, that's apparently the uh, prize catches. And I have no idea whatsoever if this guy even sells oh, stuff. That will uh, make that possible. 1,500 durability lures. Yeah. See you next time. Not going to happen. But there you go. Fishing, everybody. Let's go get that cat his fish. And I've chewed up most of this video's runtime. You're all incredibly welcome. <laughs> uh... Oh, interesting. Huh. Hey, it got us a recipe. Cool. Yeah, just reading random things gets you recipes, and uh, I'm going to miss a bunch of them. So, you know, don't hold that against me too much. Come on, guys. Stamina. You can do it. Hello, Mr. Whiskers. What am I calling you? You're Mr. Whiskers. Here you go. Caught fresh. <sighs> what? <laughs> you don't like fish? <laughs> oh, you only like cooked fish. All right. He speaks cat. I mean, honestly, he, he just must speak, must speak cat. All right, let's go do, uh... Let's go do the next part of this quest. Welcome to Golden Key. <sighs> that guy, there's something about his voice that just, uh, just rubs me the wrong way. Welcome to the Mother of Pearl. Thank you. What do you feel like having today? Camping spot. Parking spots. Outpost. Ooh. Treasure. Any good hunts? Here is the local lineup. Eleven. I could do eleven. That looks like a crab thing. Anyway, that was not really the reason I came up here. I came up here for this one. Hey, do you serve anything a cat might like? That the best pickup line you've got? What? No, I... There's this cat over there. <laughs> I'm only teasing. I have a feeling I know the feline you've got in mind. Let me whip something up. Paying customers come first, though, and someone just ordered the last fish on hand. Would you mind catching another one of these while I make their meal? My tummy's rumbling. Absolutely. And I think, yeah, I've already got the one I was about to say the same. that uh, she needs, so we're just going to turn right back around. Great! I'll start on it right away. You know, this is really thoughtful of you, but be warned. Cats are clingy. And they're notoriously picky eaters, too. Picky eaters? You don't say. When it comes to food, felines are quite finicky. So you are wise to entrust the cooking to me, here. Okay. This is going to be the best fed cat ever. I just adore this shop. Cat won't even eat a fresh fish. Actually, <laughs> I happen to know a cat that does not like fish in any way, shape, or form. Cooked raw or otherwise. Well, unless it's like right, seven days old. If it smells really bad, the cat will actually eat it. Look at that one dish! Spoiled cat. I agree! That is one Aww. spoiled cat. I think he likes you. I guess. Clawed his way into a hub. But hey, Might 600 XP for, for, you know, whatever. fishing and helping out a cat. There you go. So we've got a hunt and a treasure, and we don't have enough time. So I'm going to drop down a save here, and until our paths cross again, have fun, be safe, everyone.